it's dizzy i'm back in my messy house time to update that and to let you know how i'm doing with it this is my husband's den which i am now able to walk into slightly this is a room that for now i am not really worrying about uh yeah i'll be getting to it but it's not as important I keep the door to this room open only because this is a south facing window which helps with passive solar heat and the chimney goes up right through here which can have a lot of heat going into this room so that helps it go into the rest of the house but it just gives you an idea of how much of a mess this room is this is that back room that had been pretty clean last week I looked at it, I looked at everything that was in the house, and I made a decision. A lot of what I had to sort through was stuff that I have no clue what to do with it for now. There's a lot of tools, you can see some of them up on the wall. There's all kinds of stuff in these bins. There's these two carts, which he had to have them. They just take up an awful lot of room. They'll be going bye-bye. This is the only cart that I'm keeping, and the only reason I'm keeping that uh, this does have, you can't see it from here, on the other side it has an electric cord and it has a strip so that you can plug stuff into it. I can use that. Um, I will, of course, once I get the electrician in, probably have to haul stuff out so he can get to the electric in here. But for the most part, I'm not using this room. If I keep this door shut there's just that much less that I had to worry about heating so this room for now because I am not worried about I will get to that later so shut the door on the mess this is a lot of wipes and I don't know what else is in there possibly gloves because I know he had bought a lot of gloves my bedroom now last week I couldn't even hardly walk in here I got it to where I'm able to walk in this chair had been down in my basement. I brought that up. It's supposed to be in front of the fire downstairs. There's no room for it right now. But I've got my electric heater that looks like a fire right there. So I can sit in this chair when I am wanting to just relax and read a book, which I've got a book there right now. I haven't read it. And also watch the birds at my feeder. Uh, squirrels can't reach this feeder here. Used to be on that window and they found that they could go off the roof and get to the feeder. This area I have not touched yet. The socks there are basically mine that I can't find the mates to. I had to go through them because I'm sure some of them had the mates to. I will be working in here later today. I do have to do firewood. But that's where I am in this room. bathroom basically all I'm having to do that to that for now is just give it a good cleaning every week I am going to come in when I clean the bathroom and I am going to rearrange the linen closet as you see it has no doors my husband kept promising me promising me promising me he was going to put the door on it he never did hallway I got rid of a lot of the stuff that was in it Here's the kitchen. My dishes are all caught up. And you can walk around in here. Now the reason I have all these cabinets open is to show you what I'm dealing with is here. I will be, I don't know when I'm going to be getting to it, whether it's this week or not. I plan on working on the kitchen tomorrow. But I need to dust it. I am going to start going through all of the stuff that I have in here. There's so much that doesn't need to be in here. I'm just giving you an idea of how much junk is in this house. I don't know how well you can see underneath of my sink. It's like every place that it could be jammed full of stuff has been jammed full of stuff. And that's, I will be working on starting with this here. To get rid of a lot of this plastic stuff that I don't have any use for. I previously sorted through there. There was a lot of food on here that my husband ate that I didn't eat. Biggest for me is my living room. 
I'm able to walk around in my living room. I was able to get the tree up in my living room. I will be doing more work in here. Uh, not sure what day. I'm planning to spend a lot of time out at the farm, possibly on Friday. I do need to get everything off of the piano tomorrow and um, have this area all open. I'm having a guy come to tune the piano. If he needs the tree out of the way, the tree, there's a big round piece of plexiglass underneath of that. We got that curbside shopping years ago, and it's great for putting the tree on because A, it can, means you can slide the tree with no problem, and B, it gives it a steady spot to be on. But like I said, I am able to move around in my living room. The chair here, power lift chair, I have no use for that. I will be putting an ad for that on Craigslist. I can sit on my sofa, walk in my front door, and it's not all crowded here. I just have a sweatshirt and my winter coat there that I've been wearing. Shoes are all where they belong. I do need to go through this. I know there's at least one bill in here that I have to pay, maybe more. So. That's where I am with my messy house challenge starting on week two. Now I'm going to get done as much as I can up here this week. Next week I am going to be going downstairs and I am going to shoot the video. Well, I'll show you what I got done up here, but then I'm going to shoot the video from downstairs to show you what I'm dealing with downstairs. And... I am going to be concentrating the majority of my effort on the basement so that I can get the electrician in. I'm tired of using the space heaters. I am able to get it up to, it's up to 64 in here. I've pretty much gotten used to the cooler temperatures in the house and if I'm feeling a little cold, I just put on more clothes. That's where the house is for this week and I will talk at you later.